Hello. Well, okay, so we're at the end of day two of, um, well, we'll talk about it. Last night, slept great, slept warm. Ryan said he slept great, slept warm. Um, it's kind of weird. I'm not putting my fly on top of my tent tonight. Um, you can see I'm just going to go straight up without it. And Ryan's going to do the same thing. He's decided to do the same with a little setup over here. So, yeah, today was brutal. Um, to, to say brutal is an underestimate. Um, we anticipated it to be eight miles, and it kept growing and growing and growing. The trails alone from not much further than a mile out was just brutal. They were so difficult. Very difficult to follow the trails. The trails were all... We crossed the water and end up on a spot we had thought was a trail, and it wasn't a trail. It, that was so frustrating, so frustrating. I mean, it's bad enough you're already hiking, and then we just, between our GPSs and the maps and the phone, and we just couldn't, we were never able to nail down. We wanted to get to where we're at tonight, and tonight is where we're going to come out of the Middle Fork and travel over. So tomorrow is going to be what we're calling the Mesa Hike up and over um which is gonna smooth out we're really kind of looking forward to it no more water i man i wouldn't i don't think i'd be lying if i said we probably did close to 50 water crossings um almost all the water crossings were one of them was up to our knees um but slick oh man every rock was slick i don't see how my walking poles broke so ryan gave them to me since i'm the the invalid old man and I'm so thankful because I'm telling you, without those hiking poles, uh, stabilization, you don't realize how many, and there's so many boulders and rocks in, in the trail. It's not a clean trail at all. And so every little thing, when you stump your toe or catch on a rock or something, man, it's potential to fall. I did fall, um, kind of got my knee a little bit, but it was, and, and what spooked me was the fact that um, it's my knee that was giving me so much trouble before I, um, started the hike um getting ready our lunch actually timer's gonna go off or i am we're not gonna make it through this but and i'm only at two minutes on my little vlog so anyway i'll try to go ahead and keep wrapping it up it'll go off and then i'll stop the timer and then ryan can continue to prepare our dinner oh man i've got chili mac what buffalo chili mac, buffalo Cattle chicken, chicken chili, mac. chili mac and um ryan's having beef stroganoff noodles um, so we're, okay, Ryan, it's over. You can go ahead and kill it, the timers. So, again, we just kept hiking and hiking and hiking, and, I mean, it just, it was just, this was the worst day. I feel like we recovered. The, we're, we're taking these energy um, mix packs dry with some protein and, Kind of this concoction that we learned and uh, man I, I i feel it i think that it's really helped so we got here to camp immediately we went down to the water did our little cleaning cleaned our clothes we got them hanging that's why i'm not going to let you see me um because we we got our clothes all hanging out <laughs> there's my britches over there there's my shirt ryan's britches and his shorts so we're uh, kind of doing the the zoom meeting apparel where we have no clothes <laughs> from the waist down the COVID. we the right right the COVID. so um but it's beautiful i mean the weather's so nice out here right now and looking around there was a pool behind me over here that was just perfect able to get in there we washed our clothes got all the stank stank off of us and stuff so um tomorrow what do you think how far 10 miles oh, oh okay well that's the first estimate. <laughs> we're, we're believing it's 10 miles. I think we're per, pretty confident. The challenge is going to be, it's going to be hotter. Um, we're going to have less opportunity for water. So we're going to have to really, I'm starting out with a lot of weight, a lot of water weight, three liters, usually since I've been in the, in down next to water. But today I went through three and a half liters drinking in Ryan. What'd you go through? Oh man. Yeah. Way over three. 
and, and that that's a record for me i mean that was i needed it and, and it was good but um so tomorrow a little concerned about how long it's going to take us to get over and finding water it's probably going to be nasty skinky water but that's cool we've got our filters and that's been cool too is being able to walk up to the stream and just dip our little bag in we're using these little um water bags here they're kind of cool you just take them and you get your your dirty water into this and then you connect the filter on the top of it and you squeeze you connect the bag to this end and then you squeeze it out into whatever you want i've been putting it into my my camel bag here and filling it up and it's one liter bag so like i got to do three three bags in order to get that full for tomorrow's trip so that's it for now we're gonna continue hopefully we'll be alive um <laughs> tomorrow we're i think we're gonna sleep amazing just the hike we had yesterday last night i slept really good we woke up both of us like at 5 30 and um it was daylight we i'm not we had light so we just got up and it was like goal was to get up at like six i think we're gonna get up at six and try to get out same thing tomorrow so i'll go ahead and wrap it up this is day end of day two so we'll um call it for now bye